What's up, guys, and welcome back to The Lab Podcast. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Jeremy from The Lab team. You know, he stays out in Durban, so we don't always get a chance to, to chat to him, but today he's online with us, and uh, we're going to chat about the benefits of partnering with a creative agency. As you would think that hiring an external service, especially what we would call an agency, might be really expensive, but it definitely can be a massive money saver going forward, especially depending on the type of use case that you have for it. Cool, thanks. So one of the other points that we were discussing to sort of prep for this meeting was how because a creative agency has individual people that know each of their skills and fields super well, they also have a really, really strong pulse when it comes to the trends and what's happening in the industry at the moment. That's a very valuable skill to have as far as I'm concerned. I wanted to know your thoughts on that as well. No, absolutely. Now, if you are an entrepreneur trying to do your own marketing, and if, you've, if you're a bit of a socialite, you are generally aware of what's the most common trends in social media. However, if you're, you know, if I, considering the entrepreneurs I've met, generally they're really busy in the day-to-day -day operations of their business. So understanding yeah. what's actually really popular as far as, say, social media trends or design trends, or what's actually new technologies that are coming out and say, videography, that's not stuff that the average entrepreneur is going to be up looking at. And generally the ones that are, are creators by nature, so it's less relevant for them. So yeah. hiring out an agency or hiring experts that, well, this is their day-to-day -day job. It's our job to know what's happening in the industry, what's happening as far as trends Absolutely. and what's actually at the, the top of design. Because uh, we're really all on the fight for relevancy and attention. And if you are not relevant, and you you will not gain attention so it, it's just absolutely yeah with the the mass amounts of content that are being put out every day if you're not very much on the pulse and you don't have the ability to grab people's attention it's just going to get lost it's like you know screaming into a, a cave it, it it doesn't do anything if you don't have the right sort of underlying pulse for the content that you're trying to put out but yeah that's super relevant um we were also talking about how it can save you money. Another really important aspect is saving you time. And I think that's kind of self-explanatory for most people because obviously outsourcing the work to someone else, one of the, the main reasons for doing that is to save you time to get more things done because you don't have the capacity. But what are some of the more detailed nuances to saving time, the ways that a creative agency can save you time and the benefit that has that you could maybe touch on? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the, the easiest uh, ways of explaining it is, let's just say, your specialization in videography. Now, producing a video, the end result at the end is, is one thing, but then actually all the planning that goes beforehand into it is something completely different. So, you know, you've yeah. got to get the scripts, you've got to get the shot list, you've got to get the, the concept down. When it comes down to the actual set, yeah. you know, we've got set design, we've got all the other bits that all come together to create a video. Now, if you're trying to produce a video by yourself, you've got to do that, you know, on your own. And that takes a significant amount of time. Now, of course, it's all relative. If you have more time than money, by all means, you, you've got the resources at hand in order to do it. But if you have money, but you just don't have the time to take, make sure that whatever you produce is of adequate quality, then the choice is obvious that you're going to yeah. uh, offhand that to more capable people. Yeah, that's 100%. It's an extremely valuable point to make because I think very often people think that creating a video for their product starts with getting a camera and the product and maybe a nice backdrop where it actually starts, you know, days, sometimes even weeks before that in terms of the planning, creating treatments and, and storyboards, like you said, writing scripts to achieve a very specific goal with that piece of content. And that same theme of, of pre-production or pre-planning, it runs through all the different creative aspects of our work, you know, whether you're designing, whether you're writing blogs, whatever it might be, that detailed level of pre-production is very valuable for having a, a high-end result. So I think it's important for people to understand that they might think they, they're paying too much for a creative agency to shoot a video, but they don't realize how much work actually goes in to achieve that quality. All of that time, like you said, if you have it, would be great you know, to spend all of that time researching and learning and creating the pre-production, but it's, it's just so much more, 
you can be so much more confident in your work if you're outsourcing it to someone who actually knows what they're talking about. And then you can spend your time doing things that you actually care about, running your business and actually focusing on what is it within your wheelhouse, you know? Just to, to kind of wrap things up, also just cycling back to the whole saving money aspect, a thing I didn't mention, is simply the equipment involved in producing all this. Now, yes. anyone who's got a passive uh, hobby in photography knows that camera equipment, lenses, so on and so forth, do not come cheap. Not at all. Cool. So um, the the last point that I wanted to just touch on is when it comes to creative work, I think there's a lot of emotion that gets put into the work that you're creating, especially when you care about it and it's it's something that's uh, that you're passionate about. When it comes to your business, you're trying to launch something. So it can be hard to take criticism and, and feedback from other people. When you're with a creative agency, I think a very important thing to remember is that we can give you unbiased advice because for us, it's just business. So we are very happy to take harsh criticism from any of our clients to get the product to be exactly the way that they want it. And we're also not afraid to give our criticism on how we feel it can be better. And I think that can be a very valuable uh, tool or, or a very valuable piece of the puzzle that an agency can provide to a client. So do you want to maybe touch on your thoughts when it comes to giving unbiased advice or opinions on work? Uh, absolutely. I think the, the big principle at play here is, especially when you're working inside of a business or within a certain industry, you start to develop certain biases, certain preconceived notions of how things are, what will work, what will not work. Uh, it's it, the, the saying goes, you know, it's difficult to read the label on the bottle when you're inside the bottle. So getting an external source yeah. who is, for all intents and purposes, a neutral party to all this allows for a, a fresh perspective on things uh, to, to break the mold of what's always been done because that may be exactly what you need to do in order to differentiate. And yeah, when it comes down to critiquing, whether it be from the client side or from our side, it allows us to give a much more unbiased opinion because we don't have these preconceived yes. notions of, oh, this is going to work, this is not going to work. Because the, the bottom line is the actual businesses that actually got ahead of the game and are the, the big juggernauts that we see them now, they did something very different when they were still starting out. So it's that's what gave them their X factor because there was no other company that did something like they did. And you can insert whichever brand yeah. you want inside here, but the general rule is true. So when you get an external marketing agency or just an external thing who in a way knows nothing about potentially the industry that you're dealing with, it actually opens up the realms of creativity and exploration. Whereas if you've got someone who's been in the industry for a long time but, and has done everything, it, they you start just building up those lists of biases and it can Absolutely. be very difficult to break free and to put away those things of, oh, this is going to work, this is not going to work. Uh, it, you kind of put your own shackles on. Yeah, for sure. I think that can be a tricky line to toe. But yeah, thank you so much for, for all the information. Um, I had a really good time chatting to you. I think I learned a lot and we did prepare some of these points before. Um, but it, just having this conversation with you and, and exploring them together in this format has brought a, a new layer of understanding, at least from my perspective. So hopefully the viewers get a very similar feeling from this and get to sort of understand what the benefits of partnering with a creative agency are and why it is worth the money, even though sometimes it might seem a little bit unnecessary, especially with all the tools available to people today for creatives. Um, do you have any last closing uh, thoughts or statements that you want to maybe provide? Yeah, absolutely. So for all our viewers and listeners, if you are interested in this type of content, wanting to learn about the creative industry, tips and tricks on stuff within the industry, such as videography, design, and anything that relates it, or you just enjoy the, the casual banter that we do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you are, you know, you know anybody that could actually really enjoy listening to us, be sure to share it with them. So just yes, to please. kind of round everything off from the top, the real benefits of partnering with an agency such as the laboratory for us or any agency for that matter versus having an in-house team or just hiring a freelancer for your work really are the main benefits of, of one, you're hiring subject matter expertise. So you, instead of needing 
you, you know, hiring one person that has to know it all. You can have five people that know their particular specialty at a way greater depth or for kind of a similar price. It's cheaper in the long run comparative to hiring or hiring in-house design uh, as what will maybe one person or an entire team. Three, it saves you time because, of course, you don't need to worry about it. That's our problem. And because this is what we deal with on the day to day, this is what we have to uh, get done in a timely manner. Four, we give a, it's really getting a fresh insight on what the latest trends because it's our job. We need to know what is happening in the, the market and what the latest trends are. And five, uh, simply the having when it comes down to time to critique or exploring of new ideas, an agency can provide much more unbiased or a fresh outlook on things comparative to having doing things in house where you have only your own perspectives on the matter. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much for the recap. And yeah, I appreciate your time again, Jeremy. I'm keen for us to do this again soon. If this format works out, we should definitely shoot some more videos like this. That would be great. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. I'll chat to you later. Cheers.